Your challenge this month isn't about decluttering or organizing, and it's certainly not about how much stuff you can give away. This month, you take time to understand how the items you've collected serve you, how they help tell your current story. Do this, and you will unlock a new way of viewing your possessions that will continue to have an impact long after this challenge ends. A few years ago, my platoon decided to train on the Appalachian Trail and hike from Roanoke to Rockfish Gap as fast as possible. It was about 134 miles. Fourteen of us started on an early Sunday morning with each person carrying between 80 to 100 pounds of gear. Food, water, lights, radios, batteries, medical gear. Two and a half days later, we came off the trail carrying only a fanny pack, granola bar, bottle of water, and a walking stick made from a branch we'd picked up along the way. Those 80 to 100 pounds of gear, they were long gone. Whether it's on our backs, in our closets, or on our minds, we all carry stuff around that no longer serves us. Reevaluate your relationship with your stuff, and you'll be able to fully benefit from the things that remain. No painful hike required. When I graduated from SEAL training, I was given a wooden plaque with the names of each of my classmates carved in it, alongside a gold trident and a photo of our class. I keep this plaque hung up outside my daughter's room. Every time I enter, I stop and look at this plaque and am reminded of how precious life is, how the most rewarding experiences are often the most challenging, and how quitting, especially as a parent, is not really an option. It's a small possession, but it means a great deal to me and continues to enrich my life and represent the things I hold dear. If all you can muster this month is to reflect on and identify one item to savor and one item to redeploy, then you will have won. Share with us how tuning into the relationship with your stuff and the stories they tell has served you. Cheers.